So what is this? It's a, a SLO amp in a box. It's basically, it's an amp in a box, which is what we keep seeing as a trend. That's something that we talked about on the podcast many times. Let's open up the box. Normally you'd see it, it'd be sitting right here, but I took it out and kind of set it up. I want to show you what comes with it besides the insert. There's an insert to hold the pedal and of course it's bagged up. It comes with a really, really cool little Saldano bag. So the pedal doesn't come in this bag though. It's, it, it's here in case you want to put it in the bag, but it didn't come in the bag. It came in plastic and in this insert it doesn't really fit in the insert with the bag. Okay, other than that, there's an instructions or a card with it. We'll go through that in a second. And of course that's your packaging. And then your card uh, basically is the history of the company. It was started back in 1987 by Mike Saldano. And if you'd like to learn more about Mike Saldano, I have an interview with him on my second channel and I'll put a link in the description down below. It goes over the controls. Let's do that right now. You have a volume, which is right here, a presence control, gain control, your EQ section, which of course is gonna be your treble, middle, and bass. There's a deep switch on the side and a power plug on the top, which takes nine volts DC. And then it gives you a little bit on the warranty. It is made in California. Price-wise, this pedal comes in at $229.99 for the US. All right, to check out this pedal, we're gonna be using my Kiesel Single Cut Bevel. That's a neck through construction with some hotter output pickups. You can watch a video of that guitar in the description down below. I'm gonna be running it through a Fender Supersonic 22 head. And you can see my EQ controls are pretty flat. I'm running a little reverb. I have an even tied delay in the effects loop. And I'm also gonna be running it through a 112 cabinet with a V30, mic'd up with an SM57. And I also have a room mic to balance it out so you can get the sound of what it sounds like to be in the room with me and this pedal. So let's go ahead first and give you a sample of the clean channel. I'm also running a little even tide delay, just a little bit. So pretty straightforward. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on. I'm gonna turn the gain down and um, run the EQs kind of straight up and I'll, I'll kind of explain in a second some things I noticed about the pedal first. <laughs> Also, I should point out, I have the deep switch put in. And don't worry, I'm gonna leave the delay in, but I will take the delay out so you can just hear the pedal by itself. Okay, so my preference. I like the gain about 12 o'clock. I don't like it all the way. Uh, I feel like this has got a lot of gain and tap. I like the deep switch in, but I'll turn it off in a second. I like more treble and more presence, but that's also a salt to taste kind of thing. So adjust to your gear accordingly. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the deep switch off. <laughs> I like it. it gets fuller obviously it adds fullness more so than bass i think that's why they're using a deep switch it's not like a bass boost it's more like a just a gets thicker it also gets a little muddy to my my taste i'm curious to see what happens if i have it off and turn up the bass to 10. okay run the bass back a little bit and turn the deep switch maybe it's different let me try it again yeah, maybe it just, it's kind of the same. I really like it in though. What I think is gonna depend on your guitar, whether you're gonna use that switch. So if you're using a Strat style guitar or uh, a fuller, thicker sounding guitar, I think that's where you want it, that deep switch to engage. Let's go ahead and give you some sounds. I wanna show you how versatile the pedal is, uh, just showing you how great it sounds and how you can use just a volume knob to clean it up. That's what it sounds like. Let's go ahead and roll the volume back.
So obviously cleans up really nice too. And of course we run the gain down a little bit. I wouldn't call that blues. It's still gonna be. This is the gain off. I like it, but there's no there's no push. The amp's not really pushing in the room right now. I noticed too is as I increase the gain I'm getting a fuller sound and getting more low in frequency so I wonder if you turn the gain down use the deep switch so the deep control definitely seems like if you're running a lower gain uh, it really thickens up the pedal and if you're turning the gain up you probably may not need that deep I love Saldano tone for his leads. Uh, the notes just sing. I mean, that's what I love that for. I'm switching over to the, the bridge pickup that was on the neck because I want to show you this. This one thing again, when I say I like it for leads, I love it on the bridge. Sounds great. Let's go ahead and turn the delay off. And again, I wanted to take the delay off, not only because people say, hey, why'd you use delay, but also because I want to really show how this thing really sustains. And I think this is where it kind of really punches. Again, no delay. I got the deep off. I want to make sure that's off. It's off. Yep. Okay, here we go. Other things that are interesting to note is it does come with rubber feet and it's about the same size as a boss pedal. It's probably a little smaller, but you, so you understand the footprint. This is, uh, takes up no more room or actually a little less room than a boss pedal. Some of you might have a question. Can you run this in the return of your effects loop on your amplifier? In other words, run it as a preamp into the power section of your amp. You sure can. No problem. It would sound great because it's a good preamp platform. I personally don't do that because of the fact that if I turn the pedal off, I'm just running my guitar straight into the power section of my amp. I actually want a good clean tone with some reverb. And then I add the pedals to color the amplifier that I'm using. But everybody can choose to do it a different way. That's just the way I choose to do it. But either way, I just wanted you to know that it can work both ways and it's very effective. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I will put links to everything I talked about in this video. And as always, until the next time, thank you so much for your time and know your gear.